Amazon FBA product launches. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we lost close to $100,000 by not adhering to this simple two step process when launching on Amazon. So, when I got started on Amazon, we used to send five units, 10 units to Amazon in like plastic bags, literally from AliExpress or Alibaba to test and validate markets. Now, that process has changed a little bit over time. Now we order 50 to maybe a thousand units for our what we call our validation stage of launching on Amazon FBA. Now what this means is ordering a trial batch, sometimes below MOQ order, whereby you can test the market and see how well the market reacts to your offering, to your product. Now, in the case where you know your product is going to be successful there's certain things that stand out but for the vast majority of products it requires this validation stage because we've had instances where we've lost as i said close to a hundred thousand um, dollars by not adhering to this or by doing this really badly so i'm going to go through a couple of things i've noted down stories behind how we've lost this in various industries on amazon i mean the first one here is furniture so we launched a furniture furniture brand um, that would have been last year and what happened was we basically had a supplier in Indonesia we tested the product um, it worked we uh, tested we had quality inspections everything it worked and then when we went to launch the next time we actually went with a cheaper supplier now because we thought we had a lot of confidence and it looked like the same product we thought we were good but ultimately when we look back uh, and look at the mistake we made here it was an absolute huge error to go and change supplier after validating the product just to save a few dollars or a few pennies. This is what they call uh, pound foolish, penny smart. Um, and this is exactly what we done. Now in that launch, it cost, I think it was, if you're enjoying the video, make sure you hit the like button below. Now back to business. $25,000 and we basically lost all that money because quite frankly, the next batch that went out, the quality was not good enough. That is a product we may take up at some point in the future, but for now, it's not a worthwhile investment. So that was our furniture brand um, and how things went really wrong. Now, what I would do in future is very simply, when you validate, do not change too much of the conditions. Maybe you can upgrade the product slightly as in make it better, but do not let your guard drop when placing the larger orders. Because when you place the larger orders, that's when the road meets the rubber, and that's when you actually are going to make the most profit. So if you miss out on that step after going through a real screw, scrutinous validation stage, you're going to lose money and it's going to be painful. Okay. The next one here is when we went into cosmetics. Now, cosmetics is obviously highly regulated, very, very competitive. But one of the things we've done here is we ordered um, cosmetics. Turns out uh, we ordered 5,000 units, but it turns out that the... Um, some of the ingredients can't be imported into the USA, um, which has presented some difficulties that we're trying to figure out. And we've put uh, close to fifteen to twenty thousand dollars into this, and the MOQ um, was five thousand units in this order. And what we've done actually is we basically ordered the MOQ and then split it. So we've split the shipment. So we shipped half of it. So this is a new supplier we don't have a relationship with. Uh, very well so sometimes they are sticklers with MOQs most cases you can get it reduced way down because you tell them it's a trial order and you come across very professional and basically if they see you're a successful businessman or a company they will drop their MOQ in this case they didn't um, but what we done in this case was we basically split it so we ordered 5,000 units and then for the second for the first batch we sent out um, and we learned a lot from that iteration we learned about the um, the packaging we learned about the product we learned about uh, having an email list we also hadn't got a support email on our first batch that went out so basically we upgraded the, the product packaging and the inserts for the second batch so this is probably the next best thing than having a validation of a small amount of units and then having an all-in stage for a large amount of units is ordering the MOQ and then splitting it down the middle now we've lost some money through this but I expect to lose money when we do uh, launches or depending on the launch um, some of them I kind of know it will take some time and some of them will be successful right from the start but you got to know the difference 
If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for future videos. Now back to business. The next one here we ordered is Garden Decor. Um, we basically ordered a hell of a lot of units and the color was wrong. The color was not uh, good. So we basically uh, ordered 2,000 units and this was quite an expensive um, product. I believe it was about $10 per unit. That's excluding shipping. So about all in, I think we ordered two, two and a half thousand units, maybe 30, 30 40K here. Um, and quite frankly, they just didn't sell. They didn't move, which is which was absolutely a big kicker because if we had of kept the order smaller in validation stage and, and built it up, we would have saved all that money. But because we basically um, went all in without validating on a certain color, then we ended up screwing ourselves essentially and being left paying storage fees and stuck with stock. And we had to liquidate that inventory as well, as well as the furniture too, um, which costs us a hell of a lot of money. So really pays to have that two-step process, um, really pays to have a validation stage where you order, depending on your situation, where you order up to maybe a thousand units and you basically learn, get the customer feedback, see the reviews, see the VOTC, see what's converting well, see what's not converting well, iterate on the content, split test the content, um, advertise, split test the advertising. These are all things that go into a validation stage for us and our clients is we want to be basically making sure that for the all in stage, that we are right on track, that we've got our best foot forward, because that's when we want to make a lot of money. Of course, in many situations, we make money on a validation stage itself, but we always want to be prepared that if we do want to go all in on a lot more products, that's where we make the serious ROI, that we get that data from the validation stage at the start. So I hope this is helpful, um, and how I talked about, obviously, the furniture expansion, cosmetics, garden decor, how we lost, I don't know, close to $100,000, and um, how you can not lose that as you prepare your product launches and success on Amazon. If you like this video, hit the replay button and watch it again. No, I'm just kidding. Watch the planning for success video right here if you want to have a great year ahead.